What's Gucci, my nigga? What's Louis, my killer? What's good, guys? Today we got a battle here against Dream Theater 09. And we have a UU battle because he was like, Selfie, you're streaming, right? And I was like, hell yeah, I'm streaming. And he was like, man, I want a UU battle, but if not, an OU battle. And I was like, man, let's go with the UU battle. Ah, let's play UU too. Ah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's get it. So looking at his team, I knew nothing would give me like a ton of problems, so I just decided to leave with my Zapdos, seeing as how Zapdos can destroy a lot of the Pokemon on his team, to be honest. And he leads with his own Zapdos, Mirror Image. Ha, ah, yeah, it's Mirror Image, too. So uh, he's going to go for that Volt Switch, that Drive-By. That, that boy hit and ran. Oh, Lord. That Drive-By Zapdos. Okay, anyways, that was that was stupid. D don't re Okay, anyways, he's going to go out to his Roserade. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a slow Roserade over there named Snivy. Hello. Anyways, I'm going to go for the Heat Wave. It's going to do uh, way more than half. Not way more, but more than half. Actually, that was way more than half. So to do it KO, he gets paralyzed, which is, you know, the main reason to go for Thunder Wave. I don't really care about the speed drop. I want them to be paralyzed fully so they can't do anything. So he's going to go out to his clay doll. I'm going to go for the Heat Wave, and I'm going to get the burn because, I don't know, I can just get it. <laughs> But uh, the burn's kind of irrelevant because I'm just going to go for the HP Ice anyways and it's going to be a 2 at KO and my roommate Nick is uh, being loud and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm going to go for the... I'm, I'm not sure if you guys could hear that. He's pretty loud though. I'm going to go for the HP Ice and like I said, it's a 2 at KO anyways and he goes for the Stealth Rock. So I know at this point he could, uh, you know, save his Clayed off for later maybe, but there's really no point anyways. Um, I can't really say that. I, I don't know what he would have done if he wasn't burned, but he probably just stayed in because he was burned anyways. So... I uh, really had no reason to switch out at that point, but like I said, if he wasn't burned, I'm not sure what he would have done. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have mattered anyways, though. So I'm just going to Volt Switch on his Porygon 2 as he brings it in to, uh, I guess, go for the Ice Beam. But the uh, Ice Beam is pretty obvious, so I'm going to go out to my fat-ass Blastoise. Ha! <laughs> That's in reference to somebody you guys should know, probably. Um, anyways, so my fat-ass Blastoise is going to take the Ice Beam. I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin just to get these rocks out of here. He can't set him back up because his uh, Claydol is dead. So he's going to bring in his Snivy, which is actually a Roserade as I go for the Rabbit Spin. My fat ass Blastoise is going to, uh, you know, I'm going to have to switch out because I don't want to get hit with any grass type moves. So I am going to switch out and I'm going to go to my Zap because Zap can take a Giga Drain, which I predicted him to go for. And uh, he doesn't need to go for the Giga Drain. Uh, uh. And I'm going to go for the Volt Switch because the switch is very, very obvious. And um, I wanted to go for Thunder Wave, but there's really no point because I can just Volt Switch on his uh, on the predicted Porygon 2 switch in. And I can go out to my Heracross and I can proceed to fuck up every single Pokemon on this man's team. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, if his Zapdos wasn't Scarfed, I'm pretty sure this would have been a clean sweep. Then again, if his Zapdos was max speed anyways, uh, I'm a liar. So I'm going to go out to my Heracross named Beetleborg. Who, if you remember the show Beetleborg, you're a fucking... Boss, don't let, don't let anybody tell you any different, because Beetleborgs was my shit. Anyways, I go for the close combat on the Porygon 2, take it out, that's a date, nigga. And it dies, and um, he's going to go out to a Zapdos now. Now, I'm predicting the Electric-type move or the Fire-type move, but I was primarily predicting the Heat Wave, so I actually went out to my uh, my Flygon here just to take the uh, Heat Wave, but he ended up going for the Volt Switch, so that's actually the better move on my part. So now he's going to go out to his Ex-Cavalier. I'm going to go for the U-turn, and I'm going to go out to my, I believe, my Zapdos. Yeah, I go out to my Zapdos. Chia. And, uh, you know, Zapdos has Heat Wave and whatnot. Now, the switch to the Kingdra was pretty obvious, but I really don't have any reason to, you know, start making crazy predictions because I am winning by, like, a landslide at this point, I think. How many Pokemon does he have dead? Two? Three? I don't know. But uh, I knew that I had the game in the bag at this point, so I didn't really have to make, you know, too many crazy predictions. But uh, here, I actually make a pretty decent move. Um, I go for the Heat Wave, then I go for the Thunder Wave, then he gets paralyzed. And uh, because he doesn't have a Lumberry, I know that he's probably going to be the Chesto uh, Berry variant. So, well, at this point, I don't know. I'll tell you when I know. So I go out to my Bronze on here. He goes for the Dragon Dance, and then once he went for the Dragon Dance, I, w I was going to set up my Stealth Rocks here. But once he went for the Dragon Dance, I was like, hold on. If he goes for another Dragon Dance and then goes for the rest, he'll be faster than my Flygon, and I can potentially get swept. So I decided to switch right out to my, uh, my Heracross. Just so that he wouldn't be faster than me after he used rest, if he wanted to use rest. And he actually goes for the Dragon Dance again, meaning that I outspeed him, meaning that I can fuck his shit up with a close combat. Hold up! Bring that back! Hell yeah! So anyways, I take out his Kingdra with a close combat, and uh, you know, dead Kingdra is a good Kingdra. 
if it's not on your team, of course. And now he's going to send out his Snivy, and I'm going to go for the Facade just to take it out because uh, there's no point in going for any other move when I can just go for this. 100% accuracy, no consequences. So, yeah. And, um, his, uh, is this his last Pokemon? No, this is not his last Pokemon. I think he has Excavalier still. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna switch out my Beetleborg here. And I know he's gonna go for the HP as predicting my Flygon to switch in, so I'm gonna send out my Bronzong! <laughs> I'm loving it. McDonald's. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, he goes for the, uh, HP ice. Doesn't do anything, obviously, because Bronzong is hard body, baby, not getting any nigga back. I'm gonna switch out. Just kidding, I'm gonna stay in. Just kidding, I'm gonna switch out. And, um, <laughs> I knew he was gonna switch out to his ex Cavalier, which is why I'm gonna switch out to my fat ass Blastoise. Um, and I'm gonna go for the Scald, and I'm gonna burn him, and that's gonna be a good game because he's gonna hit that run, but I believe. Well, I know I go for the Scald, and I know I burn him. So I'm pretty sure he runs after this because he got six old bitch body back. I'm just kidding. That's that's we'll say that for another time. So um yeah, uh, that was a good game. Dream Theater 09. Uh, if you guys missed my stream, hopefully you guys catch the next one. I know I'm pretty inconsistent with the streams, but I don't care. <laughs>